Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 16 of Let's Play Breath of Fire 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I think now would be a good time to go and visit that tower. We did do a little bit of training just for more money and experience, but we didn't learn much in the way of new skills. It's a pretty big house, isn't it? Maybe we can stay here? We need to ask someone how to get back to Windia, too. Right? Uh, I guess. Hey, there's a mantle over here. There'd be a lot of junk around here. I was thinking I might be able to sell some and make some cash. Anyhow, you be wanting anything? Uh, if you got anything good, perhaps. Ooh, this stuff looks good. Real good. Okay, we'll definitely get some mage's robes. That'll help Nina out in a big way. Much more than a leather apron. Now, let's see. I guess uh, a gauntlet would be great too. As far as I'm concerned, I think we're properly equipped. Oh yeah, this is real good. Let's see. No, don't go to that. And let's see. Probably get rid of this. I think that's all we're gonna do for now. Okay, I see a treasure chest underneath some water. When the four crystals connected to the large one are filled with magical energy, you will be presented with one of three fates. If you seek a new destiny, return here. Okay, this is one of those timed puzzles. There's a strange woman living here. A bookworm, yeah? And she's got all sorts of traps laid all over. That doesn't make her strange. Well, the trap part, maybe, but... She's knowing books. <laughs> maybe she likes to be well-educated. Okay, off-screen I did get the last resort skill from the orc. It pumps up your attack power, but brings your defense to zero. So, keep that in mind. Also, using Jolt here would be very good because it takes down those lizards real quickly. Okay, I'm not worried about blind on Nina because she's using magic anyway. Therefore, she'll pretty much be able to connect anytime she wants. All right, now let's finish off this orc. Oh, well, not like that, of course. Okay, there is some kind of robot drone over there. Is that one of the traps? Yeah, it's not active, so... I guess it should be all right. Okay. That's what that drone is for. The faster you are, the better the treasure you're going to get. So let's be quick. I think we can do it. It's going to be a long shot. Ah, we didn't do too good. I think they're saying if you seek a new destiny, return here. To be honest, I don't really want the reward now. I wonder what happens if I leave. Do I get to try again? I think so. I don't really think the... You only get one shot at it. Because I know if you finish it with six seconds or more left, you get a pretty good item called the Ice Ring. And I do want that item. Oh, there's a new enemy. It's a Protobot. These guys are weak against electricity, so having Jolt is a godsend. Plus, I think it confuses the robots, too. That's how powerful electricity is against these drones, because you can confuse them as well. Definitely something worth taking advantage of.
Oh, that was an easy battle. <laughs> you know, levels up to 13 and gets slow. Probably not something to be proud of, but it's there. Alright, let's give this another chance. Because we kind of did a little miserable due to positioning. Okay, we're back here again. Let's give this another shot. No pun intended. 30 seconds doesn't seem like a lot of time, so you have to cut it real deep. And I hate when that happens, because you can make it look one little slip up. Even though you shouldn't, which I just did. Oh, if I didn't make that slip up, I would have gotten it too. Okay, let's try this again. I know we can do this, because when I practiced this, I was able to get it on the first try. And now, when I'm recording, I'm failing. I don't want to keep failing, I want to win. I want to do it for Jesus. Or, you guys. You guys are a safe alternative. Oh, this could be it. This could be it! Oh, we still got it. That's beautiful. Oh yeah, I'll definitely claim this reward. That is too sweet. And also way too close. Let's try Simoon on these guys. I would imagine anything that can fry bacon will work really well against the works. <laughs> I don't think wind has anything to do with it though. Okay, now both their defenses are down to zero. So that means they should be a little easier to kill. Let's see how Frost does against them. Not that good. That was worth trying. Ooh. Unnecessary crit. Alright. So. We'll definitely need to heal. That's better. Okay, now I can actually go down here this time. Because the water's drained. Oh, and get a ring of ice. Alright. To be honest, Nina doesn't have any uh, things on. So there, any ice attacks that hit her won't do anything to her. I would imagine they wouldn't. Okay, let's see what else is over here. Like, we haven't gone this way. And now I can see why. Also, one of those jars is oddly colored. But we can't do anything with them. We'll come back to that later. I don't think that's one of the traps, is it? I don't know. So maybe we should just go up. Do a little bit more exploring. The tower. Because to be honest, I have no idea where we're supposed to go. I didn't check this. Danger! I grade chrism. There are a lot of monsters that have come looking for it. Enter at your own risk. Momo. That must be the owner of the tower's name. So let's pay attention to our surroundings. <laughs> which is just a hallway. And hopefully we don't find too many branching pads. Which we kind of do. Yep, we do. We can go up higher. Oh, there's a new enemy. It's an armor bot. I believe there are some bots you can learn a skill from, but it's not these. Ah! 
Okay, it looks like electricity is not as effective against them. But it's kind of still better than what we got already. Pretty tanky. Um, let's try wind. It's a long shot, but maybe we'll find a new weakness. Or not. <laughs> that didn't do jack shit. Guess we're just gonna have to blitz this one. There. Huh, they don't have any money. That's lame. Oh, I was wondering where the door was. Oh, you can rest here if you want to. I say we take advantage of that. Good thing we did backtrack to go into that room. And we'll save as well. He thinks that would be a wise decision. So, let's get to it. Wow, nine hours of playtime. On Chrism and Monsters. Certain kinds of monsters seem to react strongly to Chrism. They synchronize themselves with the energy pattern of the Chrism. Good for them. The source of Chrism's power comes from the magical energy that certain creatures have before they die. At this time, the fossilization process that produces Chrism remains a mystery. The Chrism Machines. Almost all the Chrism Machines that have been found are of incredibly high sophistication. Too high to be reproduced. <laughs> Too high to be reproduced. Sounds like Snoop Dogg's child. Oh, yeah, he probably has kids. Machines and their uses. Machines have many practical applications. However, since their internal workings are unknown, it is very difficult to prepare them. I would imagine. <laughs> Finding machines. Most machines are inoperative when found. They can be made operative by repairing them and infusing them with a fresh supply of chrism. Machine soldiers, ugh. On occasion, self-activating machines have been found. As they respond to movement with aggressive action, <laughs> just like someone's ex-girlfriend, probably not mine, they are called machine soldiers. I don't have an ex-girlfriend, in case you're wondering. <laughs> And it's fine by me. Oh, nothing in these drawers. That's not what she said. Let's continue. Okay, so we did get a little bit of inside information. Oh, here's a new enemy. It's an ice toad. I would imagine using fire would be our wise bet. Hopefully if they got ice attacks that she'll or they'll strike Nina with it. Cause she got the ring of ice. If you really can get another one doing this puzzle again, if you get a chance second chance to do so. I don't think that will work, but giving one to Ryu would be awesome. You don't have to worry about those ice toads ever again. Hope I'm not missing any items by them being hidden in the walls. Cause that would suck. That you would actually hide them in walls. Oh yeah, we don't really do a lot of damage with Jolt against armor bots. That's a little disheartening. But, it is what it is. Let's see if Fire can do a trick. Nope. To be honest, I think electricity could be the only magic that hurts them. So I guess we're sticking to that. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Now let's go all out. Wow, that guy hung into the bitter end. 
I can make these guys out of zennies. Oh. Hello. That doesn't seem very pleasing. It just goes back. What? What was that? Let's find out. Hmm. I guess the key lies in somehow stabilizing the pure chrism. That's it. If the gasification pressure is kept down... Huh? What? <laughs> you... your... friends? Of honey? Nice... to meet... you... I'm Momo. Uh, um... yes! It's nice to meet you too. Um, but you see... What? I was trying to say that we are not really friends. We're trying to find the road to Windia. <coughs> what? I'm sorry. My ears are ringing after that explosion. Hello? Can you please? <laughs> the E just went outside the box. Show us the road to Windia? What? <laughs> they should have just face planted. I'm sorry. My ears are better now. So you want to go to Windia? And Honey's there like, oh, I'm just going to sweep without a care in the world. No problem. I'll take you to Windy and myself. Thank you. I'll be sure to make it up to you when we get to the castle. Castle? Wait a minute. When you say Nina, do you mean Princess Nina? Your Highness! Please forgive me. I had no idea. Uh, it's alright. You're helping us, after all. Please call me Nina. Oh, really? Okay, Nina. Shall we get going? I have to get some things ready, so... Why don't you rest here while I get them? Come on, honey. We're going now. Okay, I'll just drop them up. Or with broom. Well, that's so nice of her. Even though she seems like a bumbling idiot when it comes to... Equipment. Shall we get going? Thanks for waiting. Say... You two aren't being followed by some... Scruffy looking guys, are you? No, they got a horn. That's funny. When I went outside to buy something from the merchant, I saw these real rough-looking characters there. Hey, you there! We're in a hurry. Did you see a couple of kids around here? Hmm. You see, I'd be a humble merchant, yes? So if you want to know about the kids, it'll be costing you, see? Okay, so it's two different guys. Hey, there's no need to be afraid. I mean, inside this tower, I've been doing experiments on Chrism. So there's lots of monsters here. I don't think that's a good thing. 
Not to mention Chrism Machine soldiers. Tries to protect me from them. And all sorts of other things. Don't worry, they won't get up here so easily. But, Momo, we were able to get this far. Oh, I guess you're right. How did you get up here anyway? Let's not worry about that now. We had to get out of here. Right. Since we can't get up by going down, let's go up. Don't worry, there's a way out. Come on, let's go! Oh, now we got ourselves a third party member. Yeah, we'll save. Might as well. And before we leave, why don't we go check out this room? Because we might find an item or two. Or probably nothing, we just got more information. Ah, uh, no, it's Honey One, Momo. A little machine soldier has come lured by the chrism here. I think I'll call it Honey. Ah, uh, more about Honey. Unlike the other machine soldiers, Honey seems to have no offensive capabilities. Oh, and there's nothing. Oh, apparently you can fight battles in this room. Oh, not a protobot. Okay, I'll just use Jolt. Wait, Momo's abilities. She's also a healer. And can display enemy data. Divine the outcome of combat. What do you mean, define? I don't know. Anyways, let's try out this identify skill. Because it probably just gives us information on enemies. Okay, I can actually tell you what you can get from them. They don't have money either. They don't display weaknesses, I believe. Which is weird, but I think now would be a good time to call it an episode, so stay tuned for the next part. Goodbye, everyone.